Hello, welcome. This is the series three where we will learn how we can download the file from SFTP server and we can read the file with the more than 10 MB of size of the file. As in previous video, we have seen that whenever we are reading the data file with the stage activity and the data size, file size, if it's greater than 10 MB, we are generating get, getting error. So how we can resolve that issue and how we can read the data file more than 10 MB of size placed over FTP server with the help of FTP adapter and the, the state activity. So let's be big. Because before going to start, first discuss about the requirement. The same, we have the requirement to that we have data file over SFTP server and we have to read the data file. But the, this time our data file size is greater than 10 MB. So how we can perform the operation? What are the steps involved in that? Everything we will learn. The first step we will add a rest endpoint, which will help us to configure the request and response payload. We'll create the FTP adapter connection, add that one so that we can download the file. We'll add a state activity, which will help to get the data file, data of the file in read mode with the help of read file in segment operation. And last, we'll add ATP endpoint to configure the response, insert the data into ATP table. So let's begin. So here you can see, if you will see, this is our previous integration, which we have created. The name is access gate CSV file FTP less than 10 MB, right? And here, if you will see, we have data file over SFTP server. This is our data file. If we are passing the data file with less than 10 MB, so here you can see the data file size is 9.42 MB. Passing the data file while reading the, to the integration, this data file is successfully able to read and we are not getting any error. The data successfully inserted into ATP table. All the operations are performing perfectly fine. Here you can see integration completed successfully when we move to the table. If we check the table, in this table, we have the data, right? So data is inserted in the table successfully. But when we are passing the data file name, which having the file size as more than 10 MB, here you can see the 17.6 MB. If we are passing this file, this file is generating error, right? The program is generating error. Why? Because read file, read entire file operation can only read the data file, which is less than 10 MB. So how we can resolve this issue? That's why we have read file in segment option. So we will use that one. So let's begin. So here, what I will do, I will make a clone of this integration so that I don't require to uh, add the rest endpoint and all. So here I will use letter then. And MB and clone. So now integration created. Once we will edit, here you can see the issue in read in segment option, right? So whenever we are using read in segment, if our data file size uh, read entire file, if our data size is greater than 5 MB, 10 MB, it generate error. So now instead of read entire file, I will use operation as read file in segment. So here, what we need to we need to come to this read file endpoint here edit. And in the operation side, we have to use the read file in segment. So what we need to, we cannot change once it's configured. So we will delete this one and we will add instead of read entire file, we will add the read file in segment. So again, select the state operation. Read in segment, I will give the name as read in segment underscore stage. Next, and here we have to select read file in segments. Once you will select the read file in segment, it will ask you to do we need to remove the trailer and all sequential or processing. You can see the process record sequentially or the parallelly. So I just want to see process record in parallelly. That's why I don't, I am not going to click here. Here we have to provide the file reference. So file name we can provide or file reference both we can provide. In previous video, I provided the file reference. Now here I will provide the file name. So from where we will get the file name, just edit. We will get the file name from the download FTP response. This is download FTP response. Once you will expand, and here you can see the file name. Inside the properties, we have the file name. The same file name. The same file name we will get from the uh, from the request payload also, right? And from where it's done, right? Exited. And this is the file directory. From where we will get the file directory. So as we provided the file directory as tame while downloading the file. So we can use that one. And we can get that one here in only. And you can see the download FTP request. While requesting, we have passed the file directory, right? You can see the download directory. So this is the download directory where this is the OIC directory where 
we are going to download the file from FTP server. So now done. So here, while read in segment file, we provided the file name. What kind of file name we are going to read? And where is the file located in Quasi Virtual Directory? As a stage file activities can only read the file which is present in YC Virtual Directory, not over the server. So we pro provided the details. Now next, we have to provide the structure as CSV. I have already created the simple CSV file. Here I showed you earlier. So now the same file I will provide as a sample. In the sample, I will choose the file. I have this one, you can see sample file. Now we'll use record, record set. And again, I will select this one as optional and one column as mandatory. It's, it's required to make a single maximum minimum one column as mandatory. Next done. So here you can see once we added the read in segment, it's open the one scope. All the operation, whatever we want to perform on the data, we need to perform inside this only. Right here, we are using read in segment operation. And now what we need to do is that we need to just drag our activity inside this one. So here we have reposition. We will use this one here. We'll use this one here. Now we'll save. And now we have to update the mapping. This save right here. We read the data in 200 of record in the chunk of 200 records. Now we have to provide the mapping. So what we need to do, we need to just edit the mapper and we have to link the value from the read segment. So here you can see. This one, all this, right? We need to let me first delete all the target node. Deleted. Now, here you can see read in segment response. If you will open, you can see the same as we are getting a read it entire file. We will map this one with this one, the array with array, and the serial number will be serial number. All these things we will map it one by one. So, let me map first. Now I have mapped all this point and I added one three extra column that creation date. So I will update this creation date by the current date, which have we have the function, the current date. But here you can see the date current date function return data type as date. So I will convert this as a string. Now here we have the string value. And after the creation by will be have the metadata, integration metadata. So runtime because invoke by will be created by and the instance ID will have the instance ID. Now done. Validate and close. So here you can see we added a read in segment and suppose we have 500 records. So each and every time it will loop the record in 200 of bulk, bulk of 200 records. So first it will read 200 records. Then after next loop, it will again loop to run 200 records and all. And all this 200 record record will be inserted in this ATP. So here you can see right now with our data table have the data. So I will just truncate the table so that you can see right now we don't have data. Right. So now we'll save the integration. As you can see, we have one warning. Because of that, we are using read in segment operation inside the synchronous integration. That was the warning. You can see. Read file in segment is not recommended for a state file action in synchronous integration because it can be taking it, it can take may, may many more times as we know that synchronous integration have the limited time limitation. That's why it's showing warning. So now we will activate the integration and we'll, once activated, we will run this. So integration activated. Now move here and test. Here we have to provide the file name, file directory. So here in the server, you can see this is the directory. I will copy and the file name. This is the file name. This is the file which is more than 10 MB, right? Here you can see. And now that's why we added the read in segment operation. Now, once you will click on test, it will not show an error. You will process all the record in segment and insert records into table, right? So let's check where we now here you can see we have error related to the expression let me check here you can see there is an error so the error is related to that we have passed the directory to read right the directory is not perfect so i will change the directory so let me edit that one so here you can see this is the ftp download operation and from where we are going to download we are downloading directory is the temp this is the oic virtual directory temp so this is the same directory we have to provide here in the read in segment. So instead of getting file directory from the payload, I will just use simple. 
are coded temp value, right? Save, you can create variable, you can store this variable value in the variable, that kind of things you can implement. But now, okay, let's me provide the hard coded value only. Save. This warning is related to this endpoint only, so don't worry about that. As we have used hidden segment in the synchronous, that's why there is that issue. So here we'll activate this integration. And now once activated, let me run the integrations. So right now here you can see in this table right now, in our table, we don't have any record. Once integration completed, it will have some records. So this is 2022 is the data file which having the more than 10 MB of size of data. So now just click on the test. So you can see it's, it's executing and it will read data in the chunk of 200 in the segment one by one. So if you will see here, we have the data. We have data. So if you will check the count of data, count every time and you can see right now count is 26,000. If I will again run, you can see if integration completed, it will not increment the value. Yeah, you can see integration completed. That's why we got the all the value. So whatever value we have in the 26,382 value we have. So here you can see how many iteration they have for the read in segment. So if you will see, if I will open the log message, let me reload the log message again so that we can see the log message because it's a bit heavy. So once you will open the iteration, as I told you that it will read data in segment of 200 and it will iterate. So you can see read in segment stage. Once I will expand this one, you can see the iteration using begin segment 10. Let me track this one again here. So if you will see the iteration, you can see what we are going to do is we are getting the data. And here, if you will see the data, whatever we are getting in the mapping of the being region, uh, region segment, you can see we have the data file, data, all the data, what is present in the data file. You can see this all are the data. And this data we are going to insert in the ATP. So you can see my son sent to ATP. We added the ATP endpoint, the same value we added. And once we ATP added, we added the value by mapping. And here you can see insert row in this, this table completed successfully. And you can see the segment 11 and the segment 12 and all. So how many segments are there? If you will see segment 20, begin segment you can see 36 segments total we have. You can see this is the last 36 of segment. Here again, we get the data as a segment, insert the data into ATP table executed and perform the operation. So this is the way we can implement the read and segment operation. And if you have any other queries that want to ask anything related to the integration, logic, mapping, and you have any confusion related to watching this video, you can make a comment on that. You can ask. Now, if you will see here, we know that FTP adapter will successfully read the data from as a from file uh, server of uh, maximum 50 MB, but in the download, it can read the download the file up to 1 GB. So here you can see we have data file with the more than 58 MB. And the first integration, if you remember, we created in the uh, in the series of one where we use the read operation of the ftp so in next video we will see how that read operation will will completed in error if we we pass the value we pass the value as a more than 50 40 mb 50 mb so here if you will see an example here you can see this is our integration we created right get csv file from ftp less than 10 mb so here we use download operation right read operations if we will test in body we have to provide the file directory name so if you will see we will provide the directory and the name so name here we have the file name so suppose if we provide this one it will successfully able to it will be successfully able to read the data with the more than 10 mb till 50 mb will test it will see it will download the data, it will insert data into this table successfully, right? But when we pass the file name as more than 50 MB, here you can see more than 50 MB, the 23rd one, it will also generate an error, right? I will provide you the link of the video in the description. You can check from there also. So here you can see we successfully able to get the data. And once we will check the count, you can see 20,000, 
6000 will be changed to 52000 it means that if we have more than 10 mb of data we can read using ftp adapter but if we have the more than 50 mb it will generate an error so let me copy this name if i will copy this name here and you can see the file size is more than 50 mb 58 mb more than 50 mb if i will pass here it will generate error and it will not be able to download the file uh, read the file from ftp server with more than size of 50 mb so what error we are getting here you can see the error you can see the file size exceed maximum threshold size of 50 mb and in this integration, what we are going to do is that we are just downloading the file. We are not reading the file using a stage. We are directly downloading the file and mapping into integration. And we know that download FTP adapter cannot uh, read FTP adapter cannot read the file more than 50 MB. That's what the issue. The next integration, we, we will see how we can solve that issue. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other queries, you can make a comment with that. Thank you so much again.